As mentioned in the video on nodes files, various modules are required for various modeling purposes. As an example, there are multiple drainage analysis modules which are required for varying complexity of drainage analysis. And there is a designated survey module which will be required by surveyors to undertake their tasks. As standalone and network code meter licenses can be configured for specific modeling purposes, depending on the breadth of modeling requirements undertaken by an organization, you may have multiple code meters which may contain a number of licenses configured in different ways. In this example, I have two standalone code meter dongles which contain licenses which have different module configurations. I also have a network code meter which houses multiple containers. The licenses within each container are required to have the same configuration, though the different containers hold licenses which are used for different purposes. This video will explain how we reference each of the individual standalone and network code meter licenses in the dongles.4d file so that you can be sure when opening 12D model that you are using the license configuration that you require. First of all, we will need to start by identifying the dongle number which corresponds to the specific license configuration for each of our standalone code meters, as well as each of our network code meter containers. After purchasing 12D model licenses, a license summary sheet detailing the dongle numbers and the corresponding license configurations of the licenses in those dongles can be sent to you. For the benefit of this demonstration, I'll put up on the screen the dongle numbers and the corresponding license purpose for my standalone code meters as well as the individual network code meter containers. I'll open my dongles.4d file editor through the project startup panel dongles.4d button. I'm going to write a new dongles.4d file, so I'll delete the existing dongle entries. Don't be concerned about deleting these previous entries, as they have already been saved. I'm going to need to write multiple dongles.4d files for my multiple modeling purposes. The first will be my surveying dongles.4d file used exclusively when I want to access the surveying license on my standalone code meter, the first in my list here. I'll select Add, then under the options I'm going to select Code Meter Local, because I want to reference a specific standalone code meter, then select Add. I now have a dongle UNC field that I need to fill out. Select the code meter icon and all of the local containers which are plugged into my computer will be available. From the list of code meters, I will select the one which corresponds to my surveying license, 5C2D47121F, and select Select and Finish. If you are setting up the dongles.4d file for this standalone code meter license, but do not have the physical dongle attached to your computer, you can still reference the dongle by typing in the dongle serial number, which can be found on the dongle neck, into the dongle UNC field, then typing forward slash 1 forward slash 16. You can add additional entries in this dongles.4d file if you want 12D to search for additional licenses in the event that it cannot find the standalone code meter referenced in the first entry or the necessary nodes.4d file. However, if you say for example select a code meter network option as your next entry in the dongles.4d file, you will potentially open 12D model with a license that is not configured for surveying and you will not be able to perform your designated surveying tasks. I'm not going to put in another entry here because I want 12D model to not open if it can't find this license, rather than opening with a license that doesn't fit my purpose. I'll then write out this surveying dongles.4D file and select other folder and select write. Then rename this dongles.4d file that gets created to surveying 
dongle stuff 4D. And move it to my non-standard server location. I'll repeat this process for the two flow license on my other standalone code meter dongle, making sure I reference my other standalone code meter dongle in the dongles.4d file. The process of adding entries to the dongles.4d file is the same when referencing the licenses in the network code meter containers, but obviously you select the code meter network rather than code meter local option. This time, I'm going to add an entry in the dongles.4d file for each of the network code meter containers. Select the code meter icon and all network code meters on your network will be found and a list of the containers will be populated. Find the name of the server hosting the relevant network code meter and each of the relevant code meter containers should be listed. I'll select the first container here which contains my drainage design licenses. Then repeat the process of creating the entry in my dongles.4d file for the other three containers. Now what I'll do is make these dongle entries inactive dependent on the dongles.4d file I'm writing out. For each of the four dongle.4d files I'll be writing out, I'll be making the other three entries inactive, then writing out the file, renaming it and saving it to my non-standard server location. First for the drainage dongles.4d file.
Next for my road design dongle stop 4D file. Then for the GIS interface. And lastly, for visualization. So now, in our non-standard server location, we have a dongles.4d file for accessing each specific standalone code meter dongle, as well as each specific network code meter container. In the next video, I'll be showing how to set up the env underscore configs.4d file, which will reference these dongles.4d files that I've just set up.